Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brickzar, your home for vintage Lego. Been making videos on this channel for this is my tenth year of doing it. Uh, later this year will be the tenth anniversary of Brickzar, so we continue to pump out videos, even though I haven't made one the last three days. Uh, I'm still here. Uh, it's like when you get in a habit of doing daily videos and then you kind of skip a couple of days or so. Uh, sometimes people think something happened to you, but no, I am still here. <laughs> And I'm still going to be talking about things that I like uh, related to Lego, which is a lot of things. And I have been doing things like thinning out the collection. In fact, over here, there's some trays where I've sorted out about 10 different Chima sets. It's a long process, but I'd rather part them out than to try to sell them for like 10 bucks, whatever they're worth. It's not worth it, um, probably for the average person to do what I'm doing, part them out. But that's what I'm doing. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of that, and I haven't been doing a lot of building sets and filming videos. But I'm going to do a video today. I thought I'd give you my thoughts on this new corner modular, the uh, small hotel. It's, uh, well, it, it says boutique hotel, but boutique uh, is just a fancy word for small. <laughs> Look it up. Uh, it's, and it's a very interesting build. I did in, thoroughly enjoy building it. It is a beautiful set. So... Uh, it is smaller than previous modulars. It might be one of the shortest modulars. I, I need I need to compare it, but I think this one, yeah, I think it's this top floor is so like this is this top floor. It is like two or three bricks lower. So yeah, the it, so each floor is not compatible. So like when you put them side by side. Uh, the first floor is about the same. The second floor is smaller than the third floor is even smaller. So I, uh, yeah, you gotta, it, 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 <laughs> that's why it's called the boutique or small hotel. Uh, but anyway, I'll give you my, my full thoughts on this. This is the original modular. Uh, the cafe corner came out in 2007. So this is 2022, 15 years later. And it, it when I think, oh, I got a scab. I'm about to pick my scab off. Anyway, when you think about, <laughs> when you have head injuries, sometimes you don't know what you're going to say. But anyway, the, um, I remember when this came out, I was so thrilled about this. And I remember the box art. I got the box, it's over on the shelf, but um, showing out how you could uh, build bigger ones by buying multiple sets, which I think is what they originally intended. Uh, but pretty much only the cafe corner did they show you Christmasizing. That's what we say when Bricks for Chris would start making his um, modular buildings even bigger. But yeah, they wanted you to expand on them. Uh, I don't, I don't know why they didn't continue that to to, to incentivize you to buy multiples. So though, although people will still buy multiples to make them uh, just look a little better or have more floors or something like that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that I was so happy. Uh, when this came out. Now, the, the original Cafe Corner is a hotel, so to do the 15th anniversary, they did another hotel. I know a lot of people thought they were going to do the Cafe Corner. <laughs> no, I don't think they'll bring this back ever, or any of the other modulars. I don't think they would just, like, uh, make an updated re-release. I think they'll do more stuff like this, doing uh, new builds, original builds, even if they are the same type of building. Um, so a hotel, hotel, hotel with a, a art gallery. So, it's, it, modulars have come a long way. I mean, no, no interior, detailed interiors. Uh, minifigures without expressions, just the standard minifigure grin. Now they got uh, non-standard minifigure grins. They got more character to them. Kind of like that, the hallmark, uh, the traditions of the original modulars for years, where it's just always the white lamp post and the standard minifigure grin. They kind of got away from that in the last couple of years, but I, I kind of enjoyed, enjoyed that aspect of it. But I can't complain that uh, they're uh, adding more facial features uh, for the minifigures. Uh, so I might as well slide this booger out of the way. I pieced one of the, I bought it originally when it came out, and then I later pieced together one. Did a video series, I guess, of piecing that thing together. I don't even know if it's off camera, but this is uh, the, the latest in the modular series. So as I look at this thing, I have to remember, you know, I built it 
They might be bricks didn't build it. I actually built it, so hopefully I built it correctly. But I do like the diagonal design and the tricks that go into getting this angle uh, for that. Even the, the underside, it's very, I mean, they did very good because there's few gaps in it, uh, which, I, which is nice. And this floor here, what is this? Is this one of the hotel rooms? It's got a, it's got a typewriter. <laughs> it's got, a, uh oh, the, 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 uh, the cabinet open there. But yeah, it's got, it doesn't have floor, like the um, tiled floor, like on the first floor, but it's uh, got nice little building uh, structures, uh, furniture, I should say. It's got beds, a swivel chair. There's a swivel chair over here. <laughs> There's two beds. So this is a hotel. I guess that's so. That's the second floor. I guess I should show the first floor. Um, I don't even. Uh, the, the first floor or the top floor, I should say, not the first floor. Uh, it's very interesting uh, to me. Maybe I should get some close-ups of this thing. Uh, but it does have a bathroom, I think. Yes, it's got a very detailed bathroom. So finally, uh, the Lego people can have a bathroom, and then the main office area uh oh as the minifigure falls out it's got oh a vintage rotary telephone uh, which is cool but palm tree is a, a very neat build there and then the art gallery the cubist art gallery is a, a, a neat little thing and it's, of course it's got the dumpster on the side which is interesting because the dumpster is actually part of the the, um, the connection to, to connect it to another modular. <laughs> so I don't know how the dumpster guy is going to pick this thing up. The dumpster is going to be in the back alley and the dump tr dumpster truck is not going to be able to get back, back there to it. It has uh, this cafe corner-ish uh, cart on the, uh, as one of the accessories that goes to it. And I'm sure there's a lot of references. Well, they say in the book that there's references to some of the techniques they use in the other uh, modular sets, uh, referencing the, either the style or the types of pieces that they use, even if they're in different colors. Um, but uh, yeah, I just really enjoyed it. Enjoyed building it. Now, I should say this. Um, I am a lifelong collector. I've collected a lot of things and I've spent a lot of money of my own money buying stuff. And this was something I spent my own money. It's $200 retail. I did use $50 of my VIP points to get it back to a more, what I would have think would be an acceptable price, $150. Uh, but the 2022 prices are getting in that ridiculous level. I think eventually, uh, if people stop buying stuff, <laughs> it might help prices uh, come down a little bit. I don't understand why this thing was... Um, Two hundred dollars. I mean, it does have three thousand pieces, but it's a lot of small pieces, and it's you know I paid two hundred dollars for the I think the town hall was two hundred dollars, but it you felt like you got a lot more with it. Uh, this is just even though it's very detailed, it's fun build. There's nothing wrong with this set. I just don't think I I don't like that it's two hundred two hundred dollars. I mean. Oh, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, the last, the, how much was the corner garage? It, the corner garage is so much bigger than this, but it wasn't as, I think, as detailed and wasn't as architecturally pretty. And I know sometimes people complain about the sides with uh, some of the bricks um, not being uniform, but that's kind of the way actual buildings are. And you're not going to see this anyway, usually, because it's going to be next, this side of it's going to be next to another building. And this other side would be next to one. So I don't, so it actually end up being like a alleyway here where the dumpster is. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool set. So I, I enjoyed building it. I've built all of the modulars. I, I know the, the thing to do is sometimes to rank them. I don't know uh, where this one would rank as far as favorites to least favorites. Maybe that's something I could do in the future, but you know, every year you got to change it. And it, like when I do those ranking videos that I've done in the past, where we've kind of ranked all them, we've done this. I mean, like five years ago when it was the tenth anniversary, we did we ranked them all, and 
uh, I think probably this. I like I I would be hard pressed to remember the exact order of everything. <laughs> but I don't. As neat as this one is, it it doesn't for me personally. I don't think it would be when in my top five uh, of modulars, but I also don't know that it would be in the bottom five. I, I just, yeah, I'm still partial to ones like uh, the Green Grocer and the Grand Emporium. Those are uh, really good ones. But I'm still partial a little bit to the Cafe Corner, even though, even though it doesn't have the interior uh, details. But this one, it's, it's a good set. And uh, I just don't know if it's worth $200. So I can't recommend you going out and buying this for $200. I would recommend if, you, if this is something you're going to get to soften the blow of the price. Uh, either use VIP points, wait till double VIP, or in, in a combination of th these things, uh, buy it when you can get a gift for purchase. Like now, if it was available, and you know, sometimes when these gift for purchases come available, I'll send these things out of stock. <laughs> But, you know, they got a, a gift with purchase. Uh, at, the, at the time of I'm filming this, is the um, the t taxi. You can get that free taxi with this, uh, which I, I think they should have, when this thing was first released, that gift with purchase should have been available. But what they did, they waited until it was sold out. <laughs> yeah, and then they did it. Uh, so, do better, Lego. <laughs> I, I can criticize uh, because I spend my own money. <laughs> Oh, why did I buy this for? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it for one fifty and a gift with purchase, so uh, not not too bad in that case. But uh, yeah, that's, I'm gonna flatten this box out and go put this on the junked up table. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the new modular set, the Lego Fancy Small Hotel. It's uh, small, it's fancy, but it's pretty cool. And I, I cannot criticize uh, the designers of this. Very good job uh, with the set. I just, uh, again, I shouldn't focus on the price. Forget about the price. Don't talk about the price. Just don't buy it if you, if you, if you think it's the... Oh, look at that. The dumpster comes off. Oh, wait. Now I don't remember where it was. Oh, shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I don't... I hope I put it in the right place. Um... I collect Lego dumpsters, and I collect Lego modulars. I have them all because I'm old and I've been collecting a long time. So, if you're uh, new to collecting Lego, I, I, I apologize. Or no, I don't apologize. Uh, so one of the things that people uh, bemoan is the aftermarket price of things. Oh, let me get this back in shot. <laughs> so like, if you want to go get uh, the cafe corner, new in a box, it's going to cost you uh, four digits. <laughs> so again, aftermarket prices versus the new prices, so then that makes the $200 not look so bad. Like if you could get somebody, if you found this for sale for $200 still in the box, get that all day long, even though that's way more than what it was originally. I think it was like 140 if I remember right, uh, originally, which now that I think of it, that was kind of high at the time uh, for this. Uh, but it's got more, it's got more, volume than this. I don't think it's got more pieces. It's got more volume uh, than this, but it doesn't have the detail of this. Uh, but yeah, it's... I mean, Lego's expensive if you miss it, if you start collecting too late. So um, all I can say is buy stuff, <laughs> buy it while it's available, uh, because later sometimes you might regret uh, not buying something. And then you can be the one 15 years from now, when somebody wants this set, you can say, hey, I, I got it. <laughs> and then you'll be old too, like me. Anyway, I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Thanks for watching. And I'm sorry I didn't do anything for... No, I'm not sorry. Why am I apologizing? You know, yesterday was Lego Day. Uh, I'm filming this on Saturday. Friday was Lego Day because the anniversary of the, the Lego Patton. Uh, yeah, the Lego brick is still around 64 years later. Is it 64? 64 years? Oh, Wow. Will you remember me? Will you, what is it? Will you still love me when I'm 64? I'm not 64 yet, but the Lego brick is. See you guys.